I'm gonna put your lights out. Colonel Dugan was the main villain from the next Karate Kid. And some of you have asked, did John Kreese and Terry Silver know Colonel Dugan? And will he appear in the Cobra Kai series? Let's take a look at this often overlooked Karate Kid villain. I'm Ken Cole. Please like and subscribe, and let me know what you think about Colonel Dugan in the comments. Colonel Dugan, played by Michael Ironside, first appears as head of discipline at the school of Julie Pierce, Mr. Miyagi's new student and successor to Daniel LaRusso. Colonel Dugan runs a student group called the Alphas, who keep the school's student body in line. Colonel Dugan's top alpha, Ned, accuses Julie of smoking cigarettes. And Dugan is so powerful that he tells the principal to expel Julie if she screws up again. If the student screws up again, I want her out of here. Julie's boyfriend, Eric, is in the Alphas. And when he leaves in the middle of Dugan's speech to answer a phone call, Dugan kicks Eric out of the Alphas. You leave here, and you can forget about that recommendation to the Air Force Academy. That'll be it for you, McGowan. You'll end up flipping burgers for the rest of your life. Then in a big finale, Dugan orders the Alphas to blow up Eric's car. Fight it. Tells him to finish Eric. Finish him off. Put Julie away. You put her away. And then gets his butt kicked by Miyagi. So does Colonel Dugan know John Kreese and Terry Silver? Well, let's start off by looking at what we know about Colonel Dugan. He was in the army and probably had battle experience. By the time I'd left the army, I had learned one thing. When you go into battle, you must be strong. His age would have been right for serving in the Vietnam War. Since serving in the military, he got a full-time job at the school in Boston, running the overachieving militarized group of hall monitors called the Alphas. He's trained in martial arts and is big on hand-to-hand -hand combat. He wants Ned to not only fight Julie, but to put her away. You're gonna do this? You put her away. Keep in mind she's a kid, a student at the school where he's employed. He doesn't seem to have a life outside of running the Alphas. He chaperones the prom and eats lunch with the Alphas in the school cafeteria. So he's fallen very far from his glory days in the army. In some ways, he's like Kreese and Silver. For example, his philosophy is very similar to Cobra Kai. He uses similar phrases to Kreese. You have a problem? You have a problem with that? Like Kreese, he's not a big fan of mercy either. When the enemy's weakest, that's when you destroy them. Mercy is for the weak. Here on the street, in competition, a man confronts you, he's the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. What is the problem, Mr. Lawrence? No second chances. No mercy. He seems damaged by war experiences. I said get up and finish the job. No more. What? He sees everything in terms of war and battles like he hasn't moved past his experiences in the army. The war is not over because one battle is lost. He says this very explicitly. Now the enemy is in our country. It's inside our cities, in our schools. Which is similar to the version of Kreese we see in Cobra Kai. The fight at the school was an embarrassment. You lost soldiers and you lost the battle. On the other hand, there are some ways he's different from Kreese and Silver. He's not really as cunning or deceptive. He's just about brute strength. When you go into battle, you must be strong. Slow down. Use your strength. He's much more unhinged. Because Julie's boyfriend Eric left to answer a phone call, or at least I think that's why, he ambushes Eric five to one and blows up his car. If there's any hint of a challenge from a student, he apparently wants them to die in a street fight. Finish him off. What are y'all looking at? What do you think I've been training you for? He seems to want to prove that he's tough by beating up his students, which Kreese and Silver don't do. Yes, 
Now that's more like it. While he has some martial arts training, I'm not seeing skills on the level of Terry Silver or karate champion John Kreese. So considering all of that, does Colonel Dugan know Kreese and Silver? And could he appear in the Cobra Kai series? On one hand, we don't have any info for sure to link Colonel Dugan to Kreese, Silver, or Cobra Kai. A lot of soldiers fought in Vietnam, and we see Colonel Dugan living in Boston, while Kreese and Silver were living across the country in LA. On the other hand, if we want to have fun and speculate, could Colonel Dugan know Kreese and Silver? Sure. They all served in the army, likely all served in Vietnam as well. They're trained in martial arts and have similar philosophies of no mercy to enemies. And they seem to have suffered psychological damage from experiences in the war. Absolutely. And if you want to have tons of speculation fun, maybe, just maybe, we've already seen Colonel Dugan in Cobra Kai. Remember the season three flashbacks in the POW camp? Kreese and Terry watched two soldiers get pulled out of the cage to fight to the death. Keep your eye on the darker haired soldier, his walk, stance, and fighting style. Not too different from what we saw from Dugan in the bullring exercise. He ends up winning by killing his fellow soldier and possibly friend. And he's visibly traumatized when coming back to the cage and talking to Terry Silver. I had to do it. You saw. Is this soldier a young Dugan? Could this be the experience that damaged him for the rest of his life? If this was a shared POW experience among Dugan, Kreese, and Silver, it'd be a hell of a coincidence, but it would immediately tie these characters together for any future appearances in Cobra Kai. What do you think? Does Dugan know Kreese and Silver? Will we see Dugan again? Or have we already seen him in the flashbacks? Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.